Hello everyone. Now we are in Belgium and we have lovely Neetu from T of Life. Um, so um, as my first question, I want to ask um, Neetu to go through an introduction. Hi Ferry, nice to be here, nice to see nice you. Nice to meet you, thank you so much for your time. Great to see you finally after one year of chatting via Instagram. <laughs> yes. So I'm Neetu Sareen. I'm Indian by ethnicity, but I have lived in Belgium for so long that I also feel a little European now, you know, I've been here almost 40 years. So that is me and I'm passionate about tea. Anybody who sees my account can see that it's all about tea. And uh, that's about it. I my passion for tea actually started when I was a child. Uh, in India, tea is such an important part of our lives, you know, like my parents would get up in the morning and the first thing was bed tea. There would be a tray of tea which they would have actually sitting on the bed, you know. But my mother, for some reason, thought that tea was not a drink for children, so I was not allowed to drink tea. <laughs> so my love for tea started. You drink tea. Not allowed to drink it, and I would see them enjoying the tea, talking. You know how tea is; it makes you so relaxed and comfortable. And I just couldn't wait to grow up so I could have tea. <laughs> so that's where my love for tea started. And when I tasted it for the first time, it was everything I thought it would be. So any age limitation? Of... Too? Sorry for interrupt you. Is it is there any age limitation? Say you can drink tea after age eight or ten or whatever. You know now it's all changed, but at that time, uh, you know there was this thing that it was too strong, it was too black, it was too this. You know you not, you're not you. happy. So I think I started drinking tea in my teens. And that took very quietly with my grandmother. Wow. My <laughs> Your mom didn't know. <laughs> nice. And then once I finished school, I guess, you know, then things changed and then I was allowed to have tea. So I made up for all the lost time in all these years. I've had so much tea. That's great, Neetu. Um, what about your business? I can so I, I can see beautiful posts and your the way you, you are doing your Instagram account, but I want to see if you can elaborate a little bit more on, on the business tea of, tea of life. So uh, I have always been interested and passionate about tea. So in India, we were only drinking black tea. So when I came to Belgium, there was no tea here, you know, in the only coffee. Was like, <laughs> so I started looking for different teas and I discovered green tea, Chinese green tea. We traveled to Hong Kong and I brought some tea from there and slowly, slowly my interest in tea grew, you know, and also, and you know something, if you love tea, you know how vast the tea world is, you know, exactly. you, every day you can learn something new, you know. So slowly I was, you know, I was making my own blends. I was mixing teas. I was drinking, giving to friends, you know, and I never ever thought of it as a business. And then, um, like I said earlier, in 2008, uh, we moved back to India. My husband was doing a project there, so I moved with him. And uh, I started mixing my teas over there like I was doing here. <laughs> And I gave it to a few people and they put the idea into my head that why don't you do this professionally? Because green tea was still very new in India at that time. People were interested in it, but there was no good green tea available. So that's how my tea of life was oh, born. <laughs> so uh, for many years I did tea of life in India and, and I loved it because I learned so much, Ferry. I traveled to all the tea growing areas. I learned about the tea. Right. I made my blends. I used to do tea workshops, a lot of tea workshops, you know, to introduce people to green tea, to show them the difference between black and green tea. And uh, so it was great. I It was the best learning experience of my life, you know. And then we moved back to Belgium. And by then I had I knew so much about Indian tea, which I did not know before that I wanted to bring my Indian tea, good Indian tea to Europe. So I started a new company called the Chaiwali. 
Wow, great. I didn't know. <laughs> tea lady in Hindi. <laughs> chai is tea and wali, chai wali. And so the aim of chai wali is basically to bring tea from different parts of India, some of them very unknown, you know, new tea growing areas, but who are making fantastic tea and bring those teas to Europe. And we travel ourselves, my husband and me, we go to all the tea growing areas, we pick our own teas, we meet the people who are growing them, we build a relationship with them, and then we buy, source our tea from them. Wonderful. So you have Tea of Life and mm -hmm. Chai Valley somehow, yes. two, two business somehow. Two businesses, yeah. Okay, okay. that's great. And um, on those businesses, your focus will be mostly on tea and herbal blend. Am I right? This is what you said? Yes, yeah. Okay. So uh, in the Chai Valley, what we are also doing is we are getting single estate teas. Okay. So tea from, you know, and just selling the pure teas, you know, some really good teas from Sikkim, from different parts of India, you know, from Darjeeling, of course, and Assam, everybody knows. I love knows. Darjeeling. I love but also, Yeah, this is Darjeeling in my cup here. Wow. Okay. So, That's great. Trying to bring different things, you know, excite to make it exciting because the tea world is very exciting right now. You know, there is. You're right. You're right. And I, I loved it. That's um, I mean, that's one of um, the main reason for me to um, start this Tea Lovers Journal. And that was my passion. And I love tea, as I said, um, yeah. if you want to, of course, you um, lived in India for a while. You are basically now in Belgium. If you want to touch a little bit more on the tea industry or tea culture in both countries, what what do you want to tell us? So in India, for the longest time, it was always black tea. Okay. And we, in India, we mostly always add milk to our tea, which is what is known as chai, chai yeah. tea in the West yeah. now, you know. So that's what I grew up with, you know, and it is it is such a intrinsic part of our fabric, you know, of our lives over there. Like I told you, our morning begins with tea. Anytime somebody comes home, it's tea, you know, it's chai time, it's, you know. So uh, for the longest time, it was only that tea in India, you know, only black tea. You had Darjeeling, you had Assam, you had Nilgiri. But about 10, 12 years ago, as the world becomes smaller, you know, green tea came in, the health benefits, so I have seen now in India, you get beautiful teas, you know, even India is growing some really amazing oolongs and greens and whites, you know, which people are appreciating. So India has grown in that way, you know, the variety of teas has grown. Tea was always there. Tea was always a very important Not only part. black tea, as you said, now yeah. it's different. Now but. it's like, you know, all these different teas and blends. While in Europe, there was practically no tea when I came here. You know, it was, I had my tea either from England or from India, you know. And uh, I look at it now. There are people who didn't even know what tea was when I came here. You know, it was like, what are you drinking? What is that drink? Is <laughs> and now the Europeans have become such passionate tea drinkers, you know, so that that is the biggest change in Europe, you know, where it has moved from coffee to tea, you know, like uh, and now tea is not just a niche drink that women drink or somebody who does yoga drinks. Everybody likes tea, you know, everybody drinks tea here now. You know, so that's great. So you can see the change even in Europe since, of course, as you said, India chai is or tea is, is, is daily. I mean, daily habit somehow. Uh, but now you can see that move in, in Europe, that the people yeah. move from coffee to tea. And in Europe, it went the other way around. First, people started drinking uh, black tea with lemon or green tea, oolong tea. But you will not believe this, Ferry. All my friends now want to drink chai. Really? They, That's great. They come at home and they say, we don't want any other tea. Please make chai with That's milk. Right. And <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, great. So you have done this for, for a long time. I believe in that um, period, you maybe you remember something funny to want to share with us. I, yes, I will tell you something really funny. This is even a way before I started my business. When I moved to Belgium, 
So uh, I, I had been a student in India and then I came here and because of the language and so I could not really start a job immediately. So I was looking for some work to do. So there was the tea board of India in Belgium at that time. India had an office, the tea board, and they didn't sell any tea. They only uh, promoted Indian tea. Their job was to promote Indian tea. So what they would do is they would take a stall at a nice exhibition, you know, one of these food fairs, you know, and we would prepare a big samovar of tea and we would just give it to people to taste. So I used to work for them as a freelance. These okay, right. I mean, I'm talking about a very, very long time ago. This is in the 80s, you know, in the 1980s. And you will not believe people would not taste it. They would refuse to taste it. Really? They didn't want to try it. So, you know, like, what is that? What is that? You know, in the bigger fairs, in the bigger cities, it was still OK. You know, I once did a fair in a small town and I was standing from morning till four o'clock in the afternoon and nobody would. Really? I would no, one, no one tried the tea. No, what is that? We don't want. <laughs> and then there's this one gentleman, he came and he said, oh, OK, I will try it, you know, and he took the cup from me and everybody came and stood around him watching him like they thought See, he would happened. drop there. Something. <laughs> <laughs> no. and he, and he said, oh, very nice. And then suddenly everybody wanted it. But like, you know, this shows you that Europe has gone from where to where. You know? Exactly. Yeah, that's 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 great. I mean, um, when I talk to the, to the people from different part of the world, the same story. I mean, now we can see the move somehow from coffee to tea. Of course, when I say move from coffee to tea, at the end of the day, we, we love coffee. There is nothing wrong with the coffee, but wrong. now the people are more aware of tea and health benefits, tea and herbal, which is which is great. Which um, is considering your business, do you want to add anything else that you want to make people aware for tea and herbal? Anything else you want to add that you missed? Yes, you know what I would like to add is, um, you know, I make these blends now for the Chai Wali. Um, you know, everybody knows that India has a, la a huge history of herbs and exactly. spices, you know. Exactly. And all these spices and herbs were used in Ayurveda for health benefits, you know. So I am trying to learn from that and make my blends, you know, each blend has some wellness benefits for the person who drinks it. So, yeah, that and... Um, just that it's an amazing journey, you know, people should keep trying different teas and keep experimenting. And uh, yeah, I, I would love to introduce new teas, different teas to uh, people. Yeah, it, it's a great journey. And I, I mean, it's good that we share this with the people. Uh, yes. So I myself need to, I don't have anything else in my mind um, to talk about or chat since you, we covered nearly everything. Um, I want to see if you want to add anything. If you, I mean, you have forgotten to mention anything you want to share with us? Um, just that I am launching my website. If I right. can say that, you know, the Chaiwali website, I will send you a link. You can add it yeah. to it. Yeah. And people would like to follow, we will be doing some exciting stuff with tea in the future, you know, try to be creative, not just sell tea, just do something more than just selling tea, you know, something a little more fulfilling, a little more creative, you know. That's, so, that's great, Nitu. That's great. Thank you so much, Nitu, for, for your time. And uh, it's great for me, at least, and I believe the same for our followers to know about um, how the dream started, what you have done, and the new business somehow, um, the Chai Valley or Tea of Life. So thanks for your time. Um, if coming to Melbourne, that would be great to catch up. And Are you coming to Belgium? I love to. I've been to a few countries in Europe, but not to Belgium. So definitely it's in my bucket list. So um, hope to catch up soon and try tea together. So yes. stay safe, take care, and thanks for your time, Nitu. Thank you.
Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. It was a Thank pleasure so talking to you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye, -bye.